Hey guys, good morning. A couple of updates right now that you haven't seen in a while. First of all, the garden is growing. Second of all, look at the banana tree. Look at that. It's growing. That's a new leaf right there. That's the old leaf, new leaf, old leaf, new leaf, old, new, old, new, old, new. Now I want to go grab some lentils. Aww. So we have heard that lentils are chicken crack. They really like them. Sprouted. Oh, sprouted. Sprouted. Sprouted lentils, yes. You don't want to give them unsprouted anything. Hi guys, you're not running away from me now. That's awesome. because they're really hungry. <laughs> Not going over so well. Hmm. I don't know. They're eating it. They just had to figure it out. Whoa. Whoa. Ow. Ow. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Ow. Dude. <laughs> Anne's head is turning black. You're not going to know who she is soon. Really? Yeah, she's this one, but look how dark her head is already. Oh, Anne, I'm losing my Anne. We need to band them. Like an Anne band? An <laughs> Anne band, yeah. You could just put an elastic around her. A what? A rubber band. <laughs> I don't see how we're going to get, like... Oh, hi, Nancy. I don't know how we're going to get um bands around their feet. Well, you pick them up, turn them around, and you put the band on. Oh, is that how you do it? And the whole time they go, squawk, squawk! <laughs> oh, so we get to torment them then. There's my girl. <laughs> so we just noticed this. Look at this, guys. Animal tried to, uh, tried to dig under the coop last night and get some chickens. Good luck with that. Good luck, yeah. I'm glad that I, I'm glad I put that heart, that cloth down. Wow. Fort Knox in there. <laughs> Fort Knox, yeah. Maybe we should set the traps. I don't know what, did that look big enough? Did that look like a rat or did that look like a raccoon? I would say probably a rat. I don't even need to say anything. You guys already know. That's the one that we want. So I'll just leave it there. Hopefully it'll still be there when we get back. Oh, Hopefully we don't forget wacko. it. Wacko. I'm a wacko. wacko. <laughs> um, so we're getting stuff right now for the automatic feeding stuff for the chickens. Chick, 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 chick. And then this stuff right here is for the rain barrel. We remembered our long tube. That's very long and very tube-like. Look, it's ribbed. Oh my. Yeah, so, okay, so we're headed back. Well, that stuff's really sticky. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Sanitizer, that's what she's talking about. But, of course, most of you got that. The other half of you, your brain is right where mine's at. Great place to be, the gutter it is. I seriously had not anticipated not having that much material today. Even though last night I said, we're not gonna do that much material today. We're not gonna film that much because I was like, we who are you to... talking to? I'm talking to the good people. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, but it just worked out that way. It worked out that way that we didn't film that much today, which is good. And also, I've been trying not to show the chickens all the time because I know a lot of you are like, okay, chickens, okay, chickens. Getting tired of the chickens. How can you get tired of these little guys? Look at them. Look how cute they are. Hi, guys. See, they come to me now. Come to me, my children. Would you like some grass? There's some grass. Chick, 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 chick. There you go. Here's some more grass. Chick, 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 chick. This is Nancy. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. That's Nancy right there with the black, black head. This is Anne. She's the nicest one. She's my girl. Whoa, see that? Did you see that? Nancy, be nice. How rude. These are my feathered friends. <laughs> well, you can come over too if you want. <laughs> chick, 
Chick, chick, chick. Chick, chick, chick. Chick, chick. Oh, you're Karen. Okay, so the medium one is the screamer, the drama one, and that's Karen. All drama. All drama. I think she's Karen. Yeah, that's enough, Karen. <laughs> that's so funny. Are you going to post that on the page? Yeah. Awesome. That's so cute. Yep, there's poop. Poop on my shoe. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Who flung dung? Flung dung. You guys going night night now? Good night. Look at the sky. I know I'm going look at the sky, look at the sky. But seriously, look at the sky. It looks kind of threatening and kind of not threatening and it's so strange. So Angie has uh, taken all of her LED solar lamps that she's gotten and put them out here to make sure that they're all working. And we are setting all the traps. We have slug traps that she's putting out. And then we also have this. I'm borrowing it from my dad to see if we can't catch that rat. We've got this trap here. You guys already know about the banana tree. Got the barrel over there. Uh, this is stuff that we got at Lowe's today so that we can get this barrel all situated because like a 55 gallon drum of water weighs like a metric crap ton. <laughs> 400 pounds, something like that. A metric crap ton. Mm -hmm. A metric crap ton. That's an actual measurement, you know. Yes, it's very, very, very big. Oh, have we showed them our, our rutabagas? Dum, dum, dum. They're, not They're not. It's a turnip. It's a turnip. But look, look at the turnip. It's a turnip. Isn't that neat? It's a big turnip. All right, so here we are again. You ready? Yes. I'm ready too. Um, a select COC. We're going to try and get caught up a little bit, but also not like do this so much that it's taxing. Hi, Buffy. <laughs> Hi. Yes, the dogs are still around. I don't think they made it into the video today. Buffy was in the background salivating over the chickens. Yep. I am so glad that you went and responded to some of these comments. That is so cool. Um, well, this kind of a, applies to today's vlog also. Uh, Bren, oh, by the way, this is a uh, We Got the Rings vlog. Uh, Bren, you both are such pervs with your jokes, lol. You know she's wife material when she's picking out your ranch dressing. <laughs> Aloha, Lara. The ring is beautiful. I like your band, too. It's super cool with the carbon fiber. Perfect for a car guy. So yesterday we went and looked at... Uh, where we're getting married and we switched it from where we originally thought we were going to do it because of things and we can go into that later um, but yeah the the location has changed the date has not the time is not um, everything is it, it's coming down today oh, I was like where's my watch <laughs> um, today is now the sixth when you guys see this it'll be the seventh and then two more days until we get married getting married on the ninth <laughs> And uh, we had wanted Phoenix to be there, unfortunately. He's not going to be able to be there. But, um, yeah, it's, it, he's missing out, too, and that's so sad. Yeah. But, anyway, so, on, on with COC. Sorry, I was getting distracted. Chandra Huard, the countdown has started. I will put it out there, though. Once all this virus stuff is over and done with, we, all your friends, all need to get together and celebrate the two of you. In other words, time to party. Yes. Maria, Ricka, uh, Troy, have you uh, seen the P.O. Box yet? Uh, there's something else that's being sent to us, and I'm going to most likely be checking the P.O. Box tomorrow, a.k.a. today. Ben Massey, do your folks live in the country or the city? Um, it's not deep in the city, but it's not way out in the country either. It's like suburbs, kind of, but not suburbia. And to everybody who wishes us a happy 4th of July, I hope that all of you also had a happy 4th of July and that all of you still have all of your appendages, <laughs> eyes, and hair. Although, if you had to lose one of them, then losing hair, you know, getting it burnt off, which happens, would be one of the best scenarios. Yeah. <laughs> if you had to choose one, which would, what would you rather lose? An eye, hair, or an appendage? Hair. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline Canadian Trucker Gal Yippee you found it Kerrygold Irish Cheese that is I hope you like it as much as I do Little known fact I was born in Ireland but live in Canada Countdown has started love the rings Enjoy your 4th of July weekend And you told her that uh, did you ever try the I, cheese I haven't yet I had intended to The other day and then I didn't open the package 
because we had leftover stuff in the fridge and it didn't warrant opening something else for a snack. So tomorrow that'll open. And Peachy Peach, which I'm not sure if you're going to hear this or not, but I came here from a water glowing video. <laughs> awesome. You're like the first one that I know of. <laughs> And this is from Moving Day. Uh, Bren, if vlogging and editing is stressing you out, then take a break. We will all understand. It's totally fine. Don't make something you like doing stress you out and having it feel like a job. Well, I, I do that every day with automotive repair. I like fixing cars. I just don't like fixing cars. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> I love doing this, but there are times to where, you know, especially now, it's like we want a little bit of time for ourselves. So things are going to change a little bit. Um, if the vlog is not up at 10 o'clock in the morning, don't fret. It will be up. Everybody's okay. Bob Ross, good to hear from you again. Uh, happy belated 4th of July. Welcome, Angie. This is a lengthy comment. I'm going to try and make it as fast as possible. One can hear and listen faster than they can speak. So, one time when my son was around four, we had gone to Niagara Falls, California for vacation. We were leaving on the 1st of July and drove down a street where people were lining up to catch a parade. My son asked, why are, are all the people all along the road? We wanted to start from home, a seven-hour drive for us, and not wanting to get caught in traffic we or get tied up uh, watching the parade. I told him, they all came out to say goodbye to us. Canadian people are very nice. So, as we drove down the road, my son was waving goodbye to all the people. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Ralph and Jason, ooh, a quickie. <laughs> Carrie Ann Olson, the picture of the pie that I made on Facebook yesterday, did it look good enough to eat to you? Yes, it did. It was red and white and blue and blueberries and it looked delicious. Maria Rica, nice to see that's that it's almost official for the both of you. Congrats again. The both of you are an inspiration and enjoyment to watch. Love you. Oh, wow. Uh, likewise, I, I don't know why I would be doing this if I had no comments from you guys because I wouldn't see a point really. Well, you've got twofold them and the record. Well, yeah, then, yeah, that is true. But without them, it would... Oh, yeah, without them, it would be pretty, it would definitely uh, be a, a job. Yeah. <laughs> and just because I don't comment on your guys' comments doesn't mean that I, I don't read them and I don't care and don't appreciate them, because I do. Um, it's just time. Time! It's all about time. Speaking of time, happy 4th of July 2020. This is the part two vlog, which was part two, but it wasn't really part two. Mr. Brot, awesome fireworks, Troy, reminds me of how it is during New Year's here in my village where I live. Nick Gerald, did they have any Halloween fireworks or spooky ones at the fireworks stand? Uh, well, no, they didn't because... They were almost all gone. <laughs> they were almost all gone. We waited literally until almost the last minute. It was as bad as buying Halloween candy at 3 o'clock on the 31st. Oh, yeah, and all you it have really is all the, the hard suckers and like stuff we, nobody wants. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Nicole Flynn, you say, man, I'm so jealous you have the best fireworks ever. Nevada sucks. They don't sell fireworks uh, like that here. Well, it's so hot and dry there that, I'm, you know, it's probably... The neighborhood a good really thing. went all out because we didn't have nearly as much of a display mm. as we did last year, and... We did ours, and then we just sat in chairs and watched. Yeah, for and that hours. that was that was really neat. It was, it was awesome. really neat to sit with mom and dad around a campfire, relaxing, watching everybody else's hard-earned money go up in smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Bren, this video was brought to you by Troy Squirrels. Oh my gosh, I should make a T-shirt like that. Troy Squirrels. Oh, kind of like you just got through saying. Real fan Jason says, "Nice show. There was a lot more going off this fourth than I can remember. Guess with all the public displays being canceled, everyone just did it themselves." I think it's partly that, and partly everybody's been cooped up for three months, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. wanting to, yeah, blow off some steam <laughs> or some smoke, literally. Yes. Caroline, Canadian truck gal. Today is my birthday. Happy belated birthday. Happy birthday. And usually we go camping, but not this year. I'm spending the day at home, which is uh, which I'm okay with. Halloween for you also say check your P.O. box. I mailed something today. Hope it gets there on time. And the final comment of the night, Judy Hart, did you see the fireworks display from L.A.? It was illegal, but impressive. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. I got to get this. I've got, what, 20 minutes. That's my goal. 20 minutes to get this edited up and get out of here. That way we can go in and relax and, and, and have okay. the rest of the evening. Okay. All right. Happy hunting, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.